No big deal, but I almost just blew up the trailer. Do I look tired? Because I am. It has been an extremely long week. I've driven over a thousand miles this week for work. I did the same thing last week. I missed dinner every single night this week. But I'll sleep when I'm older because tonight I promised the kids that I would set up the tent for them and we're gonna go camping in the backyard. So I'm probably not gonna sleep at all tonight. Let's go. Are you gonna camp with us? Oh, you're so strong. I love you. I give you everything you want me to. Think about it. If I could, I'd burn down the moon and give that to Good morning, everybody. So last night we tried, we attempted to have a little camp out in our backyard. So as you could have guessed, uh, first Lawson decided he wanted to come in and then shortly after that, Autumn and Wesley came inside. Hey, buddy. I thought that might happen. Yeah, don't throw it at me, okay? I, I forgive you, buddy. So anyways, they all ended up coming in, but Becca just went to our neighbor's house to a garage sale and to go drop something off and then called me and told me that she's bringing something back. So she's coming down the driveway right now and I'm a little bit nervous. She's got a big smile on her face. And that's never good when she went and bought something that was unplanned and unannounced. What have you done? Just went to my friend's garage sale and I pull up. Oh, we might need to lock Dixie up. What? <laughs> Wanna go lock what does her? that mean? Go lock her in the field. <laughs> Why, honey? Do you remember how she has a lab? Go lock her you in the field. You better not have got a dog. <laughs> go lock her in the field. Oh my gosh. Dixie, come here. Every good decision we've made. Come here. Away. Mommy, I'm looking. Yeah. Hold on, guys. If they just came home with a Get puppy, hurry, babe. Time I'm gonna freak out. Not in a good way. <laughs> if it's a cat, I'm okay with that. If it's a dog, not okay. I'm not gonna run. I'm not excited about what's about to happen. Ready? Yeah. Okay, can you guys climb out? Or do you want me to just grab them? Grab what? What is happening right now? We got a kitten! Yeah! Uh, yeah. We got two kittens! Yay! Oh my Autumn, goodness! Where are you going? They're for all of us! They're not Autumn and Wesley, they're the whole family. Okay, I'm okay with that. That's what I was just saying on the way over here. If it's a cat, I'm good with that. Dogs? No way. Oh my goodness. Can I hold it? Hold it upside down so it can get it's gonna, It might try to squirm out of your hands though, buddy. It might scratch you. No. We're gonna make them a little home in the garage so they can get used to the scent of our house. But I bought kittens, now we need to go to the store and get cat food. What have you done? I had baby fever. Okay. Now I just need a puppy. He turned his kid. Oh. Watch him! You can it with it it's kind of a Very gentle, very gentle. Very gentle. Oh, very gentle. Do you love it? Very gentle. Here that go. Hi, cat. Hi, cat. I mean, I've always loved cats. <laughs> I can't really be that mad. It was probably smart of you. It was probably smart of you just to show up with them, because I would have said no if you would have asked me. I know. I want to hold one. Now they're here. If you're saying if I would have showed up with a puppy, that would have been fine? No, absolutely not. I was saying that 
as I was going to put Dixie away. I was like, if it's a cat, I'm okay. If it's a dog, it's going back. No, it wouldn't. He would totally fall in love with it. It was a little puppy. Okay, so let's find these things at home. So we set up a little gate in the garage for them, um, like our little child gate that we used actually when we were camping for the older for the kids. Um, it's in a little circle in the garage so, the, so that the kittens can't run away, and the, they'll get used to like the scent of our house so that it's familiar to them. Um, yeah, this is what we did the last time we had cats, so I think it'll go well. Now when we're gone, we're gonna have to find a cat sitter. Didn't really think that through. This is cat's potty. Miller, do you touch a litter? Eh? No, do not ever touch. It's so, so icky. Okay. When I tell you to go feed the cats, you're gonna open one of these. Mm -hmm. You're gonna scoop half of it into here. Hold on, kitty. Half of it in here. <laughs> Mom, why do you get to sneak some part of it? Look how hungry they are. Hungry. Kitties are little kittens have to eat a lot. Miller, are you having fun? <laughs> yeah, I like a cowboy. You're riding a cowboy? Yeah. Yeehaw! Yeehaw, I like a cowboy. So, <laughs> Mom, I don't think they'll. No big deal, but I almost just blew up the trailer. I was like, what is that terrible smell in here? Uh, we're getting ready to um, give the trailer to my sister and brother in law for the week. Their um, family is coming to visit from New Zealand, my sister-in-law's brother. So we are lending um, them our trailer so that they can have a place to stay on their property, like a little home for them. So we're getting it all cleaned out for them, just like um, cleaning the windows and mopping the floors again, things like that. But I was just cleaning off the um, stove in the kitchen and the trash can has been like a little bit stinky in there lately, so I was like, Man, it just reeks in here. What is that? Yada, yada, yada. I had turned on the gas stove when I was cleaning it. Like I had turned it on when I was cleaning it and it smells like natural gas in here. Should I be in here right now? Probably not, but I have to get it done because we're leaving soon. So yay, I'm glad I didn't blow us up. The kids are happily harassing the kitties. So that's going well. And I'm gonna air this sucker out. It's already starting to smell a bit better, but I'm just going to open this window. I always feel like when I go to visit people's houses, it's nice to have like your own space and when you're not like in their actual home so you can like feel like you have like a little sense of freedom in that. So I'm happy that we can provide our trailer to my sister-in-law's brother. Just like another pro of having a camper. All right, so let's get this done. I'm going to get the bathroom cleaned up and then I am complete. Okay, let's do this. All right, I brought a few helpers with me and we're headed over to my brother's house to drop off the trailer. All right, she's all set up. We're gonna leave her here for a whole week. This will be the first time that we're without our trailer since we bought it um, about two years ago. So it's gonna be weird. The, the house is gonna seem really empty. The driveway will seem really huge without it. So, but glad that we have something that we can let our friends and family use for a little while. So we're gonna head back home now, and make some dinner. You guys ready? No! Okay. Goodbye. Bye trailer. Um, I also forgot to put pants on Lawson. So he was just running around in his underwear. But that's okay. Because it's our cousin's house. No big deal. Everybody say bye trailer. Bye trailer. Bye donkey. Bye.